Hey there guys, what's up? Ragtor here, welcoming you back to Pokemon Legends of the Arena. Last time, we found out about some prophecy, met a drunken Professor Oak, battled a whole lot of people, <laughs> ended up in Taproot Town. Things are confusing. Oh, and we've got a mysterious egg. That should be pointed out. Yeah, we have no idea what's going to be inside, or when it's going to hatch. So, we're going to go into the desert, and I want to find a Kabutops. Ragtor, are you ready to head off to the desert? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's, uh, go on an adventure. Alright. So, Michael here wants to travel to the ruins of Almur. Sounds spooky, huh? Yeah, used to go there in my cave digging days. Think I left my shovel there. Uh, buddy. <laughs> you could have bought a new shovel at any time, you know that, right? Oh, and I, I want to find me some fossils. Can make a lot of money from him in this day and age, you know. A lot of money. Anyway, we... Oh, hello. You, uh... Well, well, well. Look who it is. You. Wait, wait. I know the voice I'm gonna give him. I'm sorry, do you know this guy? Oh, he knows me, alright. Samuel Wolf. Archaeologist extraordinaire at your service. Me and Michael go way back, don't we? Damn it, Sam, I warned you to stay away. I said I never wanted to see you again. Why? Are you still upset that I made that little discovery before you did, Michael boy? You stole my research. The one I should be receiving... I should be re I should be the one receiving awards and grants. I messed that up completely, I'm sorry. And yet, somehow, you're not. What a shame. If you're all done, my boys and I have some fossils to find. I trust that you won't be getting in my way. I hate you so much. I know. Get out of my way. Get out my way. <laughs> Doesn't fit at all with the camp I gave him, but we're gonna deal with it. He's gonna be camped no matter what. What a tool. Yeah, what happened between you two? Long story short, he was my partner, and he took credit for my work. He's a total jerk ass. Anyway, let's go. I'm not letting that guy ruin my day. Good for you, Michael. Good for you and your graveler. Alright, ruins of Elmore, here we come. Yuck. I'm always getting mixed up in drama. Hello, fisherman. Do you give me a fishing pole? This is the only source of water for miles. Miles, I'll tell you! You know there's a cave literally flooded with water up there, right? Is there? Well, I'll be. Okay. Somebody needs to let him out more often. Which way is the... That way to Route 5. So I guess this way is the way to the ruins. Off to Paradise Bay, are you? I don't blame you. It's a lovely place. What's going to stop me from going this way? The owls are not what they seem. Okay. He's <laughs> just going to immediately go the other way. Not even gonna deal with that. No time for the crazy. I've already got enough lunatics to deal with. And an item! A stardust. More money! So I can buy more Pokeballs to fuel my Pokemon addiction. Alright, so we're not going anywhere that way. We must go this way. Be best be careful out in the desert. People have been lost in sandstorms. Is this gonna be something that lags up my OBS again? Oh, jeez, not these two. Hello. Hi! Roxy Kassan, Placidunk Gazette. What do you think makes a good battle? Uh, I guess this one. I guess this is what makes a good battle. A Gardevoir and a Magneton. Hydroid! Norton! Neither of these are a particularly good matchup. Ugh. Let's go into Vesuvius. And you... Go for a try attack onto the Gardevoir. I believe in Norton. Mirror shot. Oh, jeez. That would be bad. Good thing I didn't attack it. So that Gardevoir is going to get wished. There's literally no point in attacking it. So let's go for the flame charge. Try attack. Double combo. Into this Magneton. Oh, wait. Come on. Oh, we got a speed up. Oh, you piece of... My nose tickles. Oh, I can feel my nose tickling. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, I sneezed the Magneton away. Oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. Oh dear. That's gonna have me paranoid all week now. I'm a hypochondriac, for those not aware. And, uh... Anytime I feel anything at all, I'm, I must have the worst disease possible. And like if my stomach hurts, then I need to have all of my intestines cut out of my body. And forcibly fed through a pig so that it'll remove all of the bacteria. I don't know. <laughs> it goes through my heads. I used to have a WebMD addiction where anytime I would feel something that was abnormal, I would have to look on WebMD. And WebMD always gives you the, like, immediate, you have cancer of the brain tissue foliage. It's like, no, not my brain tissue foliage. It's like, oh my god, it's it's so bad for the mental health to go on to... Ooh. I'll have you know that I have all 151 original Pokemon. That's kind of impressive, buddy. That's actually pretty cool. Collector Nick. Oh, of course he's got a Pikachu. Of course he's got a freaking Pikachu. Alright, I'm gonna go into Norton. I, I predict I can take a hit from this thing. I'm going to use Recover, Slam. Come on and slam. And welcome to the gym. I'm going to Recover, we'll get all of my HP back, and then I, I'll go for Agility and I'll sweep his team. Yeah, that's how we'll do it. That's how we'll do this. Up and at him. Let's go for one more Recover. Just to get our HP all nice and topped off again. Sorry, Pikachu. Oh, it's got Thunderbolt. That is a dope Thunderbolt animation, though. Get out of here! Alright, I was worried it wasn't going to one-shot. I was going to be very disappointed. But Pikachu's got poo-poo for defenses. A Diglett! Diglett dick! Diglett dick! Trio, trio, trio! Diglett dick! Diglett dick! I don't like Diglett. Like, I would like Diglett if it wasn't always in dirt. But, like, what if you want to play with Diglett in your house? Like, what does it do then? Just rip up your floor? That doesn't sound good. Sounds awful. Like, why why can't Diglett just come out of the ground and play with me? Why does it have to be a little recluse? If Diglett had art of it not in the ground, and I could imagine what it would be like to play with that Pokemon and have it for a pet, I would be on board with it. Doug Trio, I don't want to know what's under Doug Trio. I just... There are some things a man can't unsee once he's seen them. Yo, Tangela is dope! I wonder if we'll find Tangela in this grass. I'm not gonna use it, because we've already gone through all the hassle of arranging this team. <gasps> Blasphemer. You're not allowed to wield Porygon. I'm the only one allowed to wield Porygon. I'm like Seto Kaiba with his blue eyes white dragon. Oh, but we got... Oh, I got the hiccups. Mentioning Seto Kaiba gave me the hiccups. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm the only one allowed to use Porygon. I just ripped up your blue eyes. My allergies! Uh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I, di I didn't... I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, jeez. It's such a long way back. But my Pokemon got the ever-loving crap kicked out of him. And, you know, it's not the worst. Oh, we're still in Taproot Town. That's pretty interesting. Because... You know, we're getting some steps on the egg. So, we'll have a we'll have a new buddy soon. Hopefully. I might run around after this episode ends and try to get it to hatch. See what we can get from it. And then make a note to remember to mention it if it's not a good Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be really weak, but we do have an EXP share. So I don't mind, you know, training it up as much. Maybe if I had gotten the egg before we got the EXP share, I'd be annoyed. But... No, not annoyed right now. So let's see what's in this grass. Anything good? Oh, but there's an item there. I have to go back and get the item. More steps for the egg! Steps for the step god! Oh, an elixir! That was kind of worth it, actually. Elixirs are good. Mmm, yum elixir. Alright, let's see what's in the grass. Sandshrew! Oh, I love Sand Slash. It's my nemesis, but I love Sand Slash. Let's get some experience. Water Pulse! Ah, delicious, nutritious sand slash experience. Does anyone... If anyone's a veteran of the channel, do you remember the old leaf green nuzlocke where I used sand slash? There's a sandstorm raging out in the desert at the moment. You should be careful. Oh, jeez. 
I can feel the frame rate tanking coming in. Oh, hello, mister. Are you going to the ruins as well? Uh, I was, before you started to stalk me there. Hiker Travis. I have a friend named Travis. I play Warframe with him. He's cool. He also screams like a girl, and he does it to annoy me. <laughs> but he's cool. I can imagine him having a hippopotas, too. Actually, from deep, deep within my headphones, I can hear him screaming about his dead hippopotas now. And I regret every decision I've ever made in my life up until this point. Goodbye, Onyx. Yo, did you guys know, here's a bit of fun Poke trivia for you, that Onyx has, like, a pitiful amount of attack? Ooh, acid armor. Yeah, let's forget Aqua Ring. Uh, no, let's forget Water Gun. We can set up a cool combo with Aqua Ring, Leftovers, and Acid Armor. Become the unkillable Vaporeon. Just in case things ever get really hairy. And a Pupitar. Vaporeon's getting all the love this episode. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Oddish, actually. You know, little Oddish with the, with the, with the leaves and the tiny feet and the cute little face has more attack than the 28-foot-long Onyx. Can you believe that? Onyx only has, like, 40 attack. It's insanity. Yes, hello, ma'am. I'm waiting here until the sandstorm dies down. Oh, I guess I could have run past you, couldn't I? Oh, well. Picnicker Anna with a Psyduck. Psyduck is cool. Let's go into Perseus. Because for all the work I did getting and training this Perseus, it's now... That's not funny. That's not a funny thing you just did, Psyduck. Take this brick break. <laughs> I was actually scared it was going to be able to live it. It's like, ooh! A print plop. I got rid of my answer to water types. I believe... I believe... Oh, it's got bide. I believe in Perseus. Oh, uh, we can take it out in two turns. Easy. Get out of here, Primplup. Yeah, there we go. Not gonna pull any of that. It held on nonsense. And a Lanoon. Oh, that's... This is just gonna be cruel. Oh, it's got the Fury Swipes. Oh, it's so mad at me. Oh, it just... Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Lanoon, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bad talk you. Lanoon? Lanoon? Another crit? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> That's not an okay thing that just happened. No siree. But, we did level up and just trying to learn close combat. Yeah, we can forget Brick Break for uh, uh, hard hitting close combat for emergencies. No. Let's forget Takedown. Takedown is useless. I just, I realized Brick Break hits like just a little harder than. Rock Smash does, but Rock Smash is still good, but we can't get rid of it because it's an HM, but it's actually good in this game. Ah, oh, jeez. Everything is a chore! And we didn't get the KO on the Gloom. What's it? Ah, uh, Sleep Powder. It was gonna be something, I knew it. Come on with the Ember, come on. Come on, get it out there. No, don't Mega Drain Gloom. Stop. Gloom, come on, Gloom, don't embarrass yourself like this. Vesuvius, don't embarrass yourself like this, please. Wake up and hit it with fire. There we go. There we go. Burn the the, the jeweling plant. <laughs> burn, burn the jeweling plant, Morty. It, 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 it's literally useless. Boo, no fair. Okay, we need to heal up. Poor, poor, poor Perseus. He took all the damage for us in the name of close combat. And crits. Crits on Fury Swipe. Okay, this seems less intensive than the rain did. I've got my fingers crossed OBS is going to be okay with this. Do you know how a sandstorm works, mister? No, enlighten me. No, why don't... You know, sometimes that's a little scary. Okay. In a sandstorm, all... Oh, I thought he would explain, like, the overworld mechanic. In a sandstorm, all Pokemon which aren't rock steel, or ground type take damage. Also, rock types get a big boost in defense, so uh, be careful around them. Have to sneeze. <gasps> Have to sneeze! <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, 
Oh jeez, I just saw the audio waveform when that came up. Oh boy. Okay, bored now, thanks kid. Oh jeez, my eyes watered from that. That was not an okay thing that happened. So I see a bunch of battles. Up, oh, we're in a battle. Phew, there's nothing like a desert workout. This is probably not good for your lungs, buddy. You should probably consider working out somewhere else, Jogger Tom. Gligar. What's what's your ability, Gligar? Are you that stupid evasion set? Oh, it's got you turn. He's he's using tactics. He's he's using actual competitive tactics. Luxio almost got wrecked. Do I have anything for Luxio? I've got two Pokemon that are weak to it, but one that is apathetic towards it. Go Norton! Oh, and we got the special attack boost too. You're gonna eat it, nah, Luxio. Oh jeez. Oh, my eyes are still watering, and now my nose is clogged. <clears throat> That was not a fun thing to have happen in the middle of an episode. I don't like to sneeze. Get out of here, Luxio. I'm all thrown off my game now. I'm all distracted. You've ruined me. And now the Gligar is going to come back out. It's probably got Sand Veil. I'm never going to get an attack off on it. <clears throat> oh, you can tell my asthma's acting up because now I can't finish all the syllables sometimes. Acrobatics. Ouch. That was evil. That did a painful amount of damage. Okay. Oh, he did mention his lungs. See? See, I told you. Now we need to heal up. Oh, jeez. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm all thrown off now. <clears throat> need to heal up Hydroid. I'm going to keep Hydroid in the front because it seems super useful right now. Let's go run over here. There's a Karate Man. And there's an item. I knew there would be. And, just as I predicted, the sandstorm is in fact messing up my OBS. So this episode will probably not, la not last much longer. I think we'll battle this guy, get the item, and then see what happens down south some more. He's got a Tyrogue! Getting Tyrogue to evolve into the Pokemon you want is the biggest pain in the butt ever. Like, if, if you want... Oh my god. If you want Hitmontop, like, all, all it takes is really one EV changing item, but like, you know, then you try to EV train it, and it's like, no, stop, you need to like, reset its EVs, it's a nightmare, it's an absolute nightmare. I forget what he's actually gonna send in, it's a machoke. <laughs> I got off of my tirade about trying to evolve freaking Tyros, I, I can't stand it. Like, it's a cool mechanic, don't get me wrong, I think it's awesome that it exists. But it's like, oh my god, the fact that I have to EV train my Pokemon means that it becomes that much more difficult to make the Tyro evolve. It basically means I have to reset its EVs when I evolve it so that I can actually get the spread that I want. And now he's going to send in a Hariyama. This looks like a job for Ego. I choose you, giant bird. Jeez. Hariyama sure is scary. Actually, if you want to hear a fun story, I, during my Pokemon Ruby game, actually found out what Return, the move, does because of Hariyama. Because I thought Return would work like U-Turn. So I thought, like, I could get Hariyama to switch. But it turns out that my Hariyama loved me so much that it just one-shot everything with its Return attack. It was amazing. I... I basically did a solo run before I knew what a solo run was. With just a Hariyama. That's how you know I was a badass Pokemon trainer as a child. I knew there would be an item over here. I knew it. And of course there are Hippopotas here. Ugh. Get out of here. One Hyper Potion. Thanks. I mean, that's a good item, but it's not one I wanted. I wanted Pokeballs <laughs> to feed my addiction to catching Pokemon. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see what's down south a little bit. Two trainers. It looks like we'll be engaging in a double battle next time in the desert. In the tanking frame rate. 
Mm-mm. Can you smell it? It's delicious. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, though. They've been pretty battle-heavy lately. Lots of trainers to get through, lots of experience to get, so hopefully it's been action-packed for you. If you have enjoyed, please leave me a like and a nice fun comment down below, telling me how much fun you have been having. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully once my sinuses have cleared. <laughs> Until then, guys, take care, and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!